Still ahead on our broadcast tonight, city killing asteroids. The new data out showing far more close calls than previously thought and what the advice is on preventing a catastrophe. And later, Mr. Smith goes back to the future, an amazing look at a place where seemingly anything was possible. After seeing this next story, you may not want to make plans for the weekend. It's about what we learned from scientists today about the danger posed by asteroids. In just the last 13 years, asteroids have caused more than two dozen massive explosions in the atmosphere, some as large or larger than a nuclear bomb. While they have so far missed major population centers, the scientists who spoke today are now working to launch a telescope to give us early warning of potential trouble. We get our report tonight from NBC's Tom Costello. In the northern hemisphere overnight, the peak viewing opportunity to see the April Lyrids meteor shower, including this one streaking across the night sky in Russia on Saturday. Still nothing compared to the 10-ton meteor that hit more than a year ago. Traveling at 33,000 miles per hour, it exploded with the force of a nuclear bomb, injuring 1,000 people. Now a group of space experts and former astronauts is warning, only blind luck has prevented a major city from taking a direct hit. And the reason that we haven't lost a city yet is because the Earth is big. Most of the Earth is water, and most of the, the land is desert or, or unpopulated areas. At the Smithsonian in Washington, planetary scientist Linda Welsenbach showed us a piece of a meteorite that exploded in 1969. How does something like this survive reentry? Because it started out as a very large, solid object. Okay, and so it's moving also at very fast speeds. Only the outside of it actually is, is burning. Asteroids become meteors when they hit the Earth's atmosphere. Between 2000 and 2013, 26 massive explosions across the Earth, many over the oceans. And astronomers calculate an asteroid big enough to destroy a city hits the Earth roughly every 100 years. So the B612 Foundation and Ball Aerospace are raising $250 million to build an orbiting infrared telescope called Sentinel to warn Earth of an approaching asteroid, giving us years, even decades, to use spacecraft to push it out of the way. You get a near miss, but it sure beats uh, having it whack into the Earth. 65 million years ago, the Earth took a direct hit that wiped out the dinosaurs. The hope is that our luck will hold until us Earthlings can take a more proactive approach. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington.